Through your efforts, we were able to save almost a hundred Elidians from certain death. As for Lieutenant Pedrosian, well, Duval will do her best, but the prognosis isn't very encouraging. Lieutenant Bedrosian went above and beyond her duty. She deserves a commendation. I'll see what I can do. Commander Rydek, I heard what you did. The sacrifice you made for our sake. You saved not only my life, but the lives of my crew. An incredibly heroic deed. All of Elidia is in your debt. We cannot thank you enough. Just doing our duty, Admiral. I'm sure you understand. If you'll excuse us? Of course. How are we getting our away team back? Ambassador Spock and the rest of the senior staff are waiting for us in the briefing room to discuss just that. I wanted a chance for you and I to speak first, given the circumstances. While protocol might suggest we alert Starfleet about our situation, missing crew, the data breach, possible threat from the Hotari or Khan. I think we're better off keeping this to ourselves, under our control. You know what's at stake for me here, and what is at stake for you, too. I can't afford another mission gone wrong, and I'm really counting on your support. I don't want to raise a false alarm just yet. And I have every confidence we can wrap this up before it gets any worse than it already is. I'll follow your lead. You can keep this under wraps for now. Always nice to know you have my back. One of the primary reasons I brought you on board. I made the right decision. And in turn, I hope you'll have my back as well. Of course. Loyalty like yours doesn't go unnoticed. Or unrewarded. We're ready in the briefing room, Captain. On our way. Unfortunately, no. Somehow they were able to mask the signature and block our ability to track their trajectory. I'm also concerned about what went with them. A Taconian energy source. Sidron referred to it as the Cartabula. Yes, I've been analyzing your tricorder scans. This Cartabula is more powerful than any energy source on record. It disabled our ability to warp and likely created the Ion Storm. We have to find that ship. It could be anywhere by now. Literally anywhere. I have faith in our away team. They won't give up easily, and if they can somehow manage to stay alive, then maybe they could get word to us about their location. That'd be a hell of a lucky break. Right now, we need all the luck we can get. The Takan also compromised our systems when Petty Officer Maris stole data from our computer core. We're assessing what was lost as we speak. It's just too soon to say exactly what they had access to. Starfleet needs to know about this. We're not contacting Starfleet until we fully understand the situation. There are too many unknowns. They stole our data. That's reason enough to warn Starfleet. But the captain does have a point. It might be better to wait until we know more. I would have to agree with the captain. There's no point causing undue panic based purely on speculation. We need to know more before we go off half-cocked sounding the alarm. I want to speak with the Hotari and get to the bottom of this before we get Starfleet involved. I expect we'll meet resistance. The Hotari think we violated our neutrality by entering their minds. Assuming the negotiations are off, we no longer have an official role here. We still have a responsibility to the Hotari and the Elidians. The Takan are a threat to both their civilizations. No. They're a threat to us all. The device Commander Rydek found in the Taconian Vault is an advanced delivery mechanism for a complex biogenetic transformation process. Meaning what, exactly? Not only are they bioforming innocent hosts, transforming them into Takan, they're taking the DNA and engrammatic data of a specific Taconian and displacing that of its host. It's a hostile takeover on a cellular level. Bringing individual Takan back to life, one by one. Is there some way it could be reversed? That's exactly what I've been trying to find out. 
So far, it appears the answer is no. Once the Taconian takes control, the displacement of the host is irreversible. And the bioforming appears to be permanent. Petty Officer Maris called herself a scion of the flame. But the computer had no information about it. She also shot the hell out of my ship as she escaped and nearly killed a few of our crew. So we know this about those scions. They're dangerous. The Takan have crossed a line. That much is certain. However, meeting with the Hotari could offer insight into their true intentions. Under the pretense of an apology for betraying their trust and trespassing on their territory. Given the options, this might be our best chance to find out more about what they have planned. I couldn't agree more. With the Cartabula gun, I can confirm we have regained warp capability and the use of our transporters. Excellent. Commander Ermot, see if we can arrange a meeting on Hotari as soon as possible. As Ambassador Spock suggested, under the pretense of an apology. Aye, Captain. Nice work, everyone. You're long overdue for a Deridium infusion. Uh, it looks like I am. I'll give you two a moment, but she needs her rest. I understand. Commander Rydek? Is that you? I thought I heard your voice. I'm right here. Where? Before you say anything, I just want you to know I don't blame you for what happened. I heard that last transport made it through. That was our mission, to save lives. So, I'm glad it was a success. And Dr. Duval tells me she can get me my sight back. Eventually. I, I just hope this isn't the end of my career. You can't be much of a tactical officer if you can't see what's coming. But this is all I've ever wanted to do. I have absolute confidence in Dr. Duval. If she says she can restore your vision, then I truly believe it's possible. I hope you're right. All right, you two. Lieutenant Bedrosian needs her rest, and you have an infusion waiting for you. I will check in on you soon, I promise. I'm gonna hold you to it. Aside from almost running out of Deridium, you're in good health. Nice to get some positive news for a change. You I don't worry about. The captain, however... Go on. You see it, don't you? He's desperate. Withholding intel from Starfleet just to save his reputation. That's not normal behavior for a captain. And you encouraged him. You've spent enough time with him now, seen enough of how he runs this ship. If there's something wrong, as the ship's doctor, I need to know. Don't sugarcoat it. You know I wouldn't. I think he's our captain, and I think this conversation is dangerously close to mutiny. The one who needs to decide how much danger we're in is you. I won't push it further. Jara. Monitor your Duridium levels. I'll be right back. How's your wound? Like it was never there. I feel lucky you were there with me. Without you, I'd be, well... Thank you for saving my life. Even with the wonders of your technology, it wouldn't have mattered if you'd left me for dead. You're welcome. Just doing my job. 
I'll never forget it. We saw the truth down in those mines. What Citron and Galvin really are. Who they've become. The lengths they're willing to go to. What they did to that Lydian. It's hard to accept. That everything I thought I knew, so much was a lie. The horror of that underneath our feet the entire time. It's always better to know. No matter how awful, the truth is better than living with a lie. I am coming around to that thinking as well. Commander Rydek, you're needed on the bridge at once. What is it? The Hotari have agreed to meet. We have no idea when or if the Resolute is going to catch up. But if we can get access to the Zeldi systems, we might be able to figure out what the Takan are up to. You got somewhere we could do that? For how uptight the Elidians are, the cargo bay is kind of a mess. Come on, Carter. We need to stick with the tall guy. Airtight and climate controlled. Must be where they put the precious cargo. Up there? All right. Edsilar, let's do this. The internal sensors. The what? When they scan the ship for life signs, they'll know right where we are. There must be devices that perform the scan. Right there. And there. There's several of them around the room. Got it. We'll disable them. How? They're too high to reach, even for me. Not too high for our phasers. Low power, Millie. Let's not set off any fire alarms. I got the ones over here. Got one. down. Hurry, Carter! I am! Only one left. comes. It worked. They won't be able to detect us. That buys us some time. Now that the Zeldi has its power again, I might be able to access some of the ship's systems from here. I'll take care not to give away our position. The Takan might not even know we're still on board this ship. Miranda only saw us transport away. She probably thinks we're back on the Resolute. Miranda. Don't give up on her yet, Carter. She had you in her sights, and she didn't shoot. That means the real Miranda is still in there. The Takan don't have her. Not completely, at least. She must still feel something. That is a reason to hold out hope. 
And a reason to remember that Takan haven't just hijacked this ship. They've hijacked every body they're in. I know she played us, used her sympathies, your relationship to break out of sickbay. But maybe there's a way to turn her back and Miranda could help us stop the Takan. Here, on the ship. Just because the Trill joining is permanent doesn't mean the Takan bioforming has to be. I've heard enough of your prattling on about your friend. You have to think like a soldier. She's our enemy now. She'll be dealt with like the rest of the Takan. My friend Miranda is not responsible for what she's doing. The Takan have taken control of her mind. We certainly can't kill her for it. Speak for yourself. If anyone threatens the Empire, they are the enemy. It's just one life, and it's already been lost. You don't get to talk about Miranda. You don't get to ignore the truth. There is no such thing as just one life. And she is not lost. This isn't calculus. You can't just break it down by the numbers. And our crewmates were injured, killed, in the process of rescuing yours. I'll grant that you showed your grit and effectiveness. More than I can say about accessing ship systems. They block out helm control. Propulsion. They're closing down systems faster than I can check them. Ah. Ah. They're always changing these interfaces. I can hardly keep up. You done? Beating on that isn't gonna make it work. <sighs> Fine. You try your hand at it. They're using a senior officer's access code to lock down our systems from the bridge. The Takan must have turned someone in command. Here's something. I can see the course they have plotted in. They're using a senior officer's access code to lock down our systems from the bridge. The Takan must have turned someone in command. Here's something. I can see the course they have plotted in. Long way from Hotari space. I hope the Resolute is all right back there. Zeldi. That's where we are. That's not exactly news. We're headed to the edge of the galaxy. Nothing but uninhabited systems along the way. And if we keep going, we'll leave charted space. A lot sooner than I like to think about, too. That can't happen. We need to take control and turn this ship around. Get back to the front lines of the battle for Olivia. We are on the front lines! They're going to do this all over the Quadrant. The whole Federation is at risk. That is a possibility, but it's already a reality for my people. I'm sure it's pretty damn real for the people who are trapped in their own bodies controlled by the Takan. You can't just turn your back on them. I'll take this ship without you if I have to. And I'll bring it back to Olivia, or I'll destroy it. I won't let it stay in the hands of the enemy. Think strategically. We stand a better chance by working together. You're right to be angry. It doesn't do any good to turn it on us. Fair enough. The most important thing is that we get control of this ship, so that we don't end up so far away that the Resolute can't ever catch up to us. And if we control the Zeldi, that also means they can't use that Cartabula thing. I'm not sure we can do much more from here. What's this? It's a data stream. It looks to be a two-way communication. Let me see if I could... Put it through a demultiplexing processor. Can you get that clearer? I'm trying. Okay. That should do it. Hello. Can you read me? 
Itasca, is that you? Major. It's my lieutenant. Where are you? I'm here with some of the others. We're trapped in the ATP. Our artillery targeting platform. The bulkheads are sealed, and ruptured power conduits on the other side are discharging at high voltage. Major, we've seen Sidron and the other Atari. And if we can get free, I think we'll be able to overpower them and take back the ship. Itasca, are you still there? Itasca, are you still there? You shouldn't trust anyone else you meet. The Hotari have been transforming people on this ship. We've seen it happen. Bioforming. It's only a matter of time before any remaining crew are turned against us. You have to come and help us. I gotta ask, are you sure that's really your comrade? It's Itasca. You're going to have to trust me. I know Lieutenant Itasca well. That's her. Clear and not under duress beyond our current circumstances. I'm sure of it. I can do that, Major. Then we don't have time to lose. We'll make it to you undetected and we'll free you from the ATP. We'll be ready and waiting, sir. I may not know the computers very well, but I know every inch of this ship. I can get us there, safely, through the back routes. may approach. Your Majesty, an apology is in order. The Federation... Spare us your apologies, your excuses, your pathetic explanations. You said you were here under the pretense of peace, yet you trespassed into our minds. I should have known you were lying when you said the Hotari should have control of the minds. <laughs> Just a ruse to conceal your true intentions. I take full responsibility for my actions which were entirely my own, not the Federation's. How noble. Your Majesty, if I may. Her actions nearly caused a war. I was addressing the Queen. Galvin speaks for the Votari now. Fortunately, we were able to resolve this ourselves despite your interference. The Illidians have agreed the mines will remain under Votari control. We now recognize the Votari as the sole authority in this region. Your presence here is no longer necessary. So you can consider the matter unresolved. Why would you do that? You've given up everything and gained nothing. We have peace. Fairness was never part of the bargain. I thank you for coming. But the sooner the Federation leaves, the better. The hell we will, Captain. About my crew trapped aboard that ship. Or what you did to my security team. The data you stole. I want to make one thing clear. No one is to leave Hotari space without Federation approval. No one. You think you have that power, when in fact you have none. You came here under the presumption you would be the ultimate authority. That you would show up and render judgment in this petty dispute over precious resources between lesser people. But instead, your arrogance and self-interest was your undoing. Blinding you to the real power at work here. Something far beyond your feeble imagination. We came at your request. To help solve the problem, not you create You came one. because I wanted to see the mighty Federation for myself. The greatest power in the galaxy. Needless to say, I was disappointed. They never wanted our help. They were setting us up from the start. Commander Rydex saw what you did in those mines. How you bioformed innocent people against their will and turned them into Takan.
Calm. A word I haven't heard in a very long time. At the height of our power, the Takan Empire spanned hundreds of thousands of light years and trillions of Taconians. An empire that encompassed what is now considered Federation territory. What's yours was what's ours. So it feels only right that we reclaim what was lost. Everything you hold dear will be gone. The first of many painful losses to come. That may play well with your bioformed friends. But your empty threats don't scare us. Just a friendly word of caution. You'll know when I'm threatening you. You might be surprised how many want to be part of the most advanced civilization the galaxy has ever seen. We will not stop until we've reclaimed what is rightfully ours. Imagine what a queen, a starship captain, or even a Federation ambassador could accomplish if their power was wielded by a truly superior entity. In the face of such impossible odds against an adversary so clearly more advanced in every way, the only logical choice is to submit. Never. Seize them. Get us out of here. Now! Rydic to Resi. Beam us out. You ever done something like this before? Close quarters combat? Infiltrating an enemy stronghold? Something like that. I once spent six days crawling through sewers during the siege of Tofar Ket to retake the Citadel there. That's just one of many campaigns I've served in. My dress uniform is well decorated. I'm glad we're here with you. We need your kind of experience. I should say you do. And I'll be glad to have Lieutenant Itasca with us. She fought shoulder to shoulder with me in that siege. So you're pretty close, huh? She's like a daughter to me. She's saved my life more than once. She's more than just a comrade in arms. That must mean she's a good soldier. The very best. We saved your life. What does that make us? We aren't out of danger yet. But once we have my comrades, proper soldiers, we'll be able to retake the bridge. Then, our fleets will catch up to us. The ATP is just down that corridor. Is this the artillery platform? This is the power distribution for the forward armament cluster. There was combat here. Disruptor burns on the walls. Signs of a grenade detonation. Is there another way in? The only way is through there. We could go halfway around the ship and would end up coming into this same area from a different side. But we'd still have to cross that. The distribution conduits have been knocked loose. The currents in those lines would be lethal. Is there any way to power those down? Each circuit has a control panel that regulates power to the magneto banks. I can track connections between the power lines and the control panels. I should be able to clear a safe path to your crew. We'll get the door open here. It's heavy.
collateral damage out here they backed us into a corner we did that to drive them out put some space between us and the enemy ah! they're here get down I think they've given up on capture we'll never make it if we go back that way you give me a hand with this
We let the enemy take them. Hadri and Private Turo. They weren't the only ones. But if we hadn't, it would have been all of us. I'll have to live with that, and I'll answer for it when I die. It's not the Illidian way to leave one of our own behind. It's a sin to do so. We're not gonna die. Not if I have anything to say about it. It's more important that we win. When we were in there, trapped, we agreed that we had to live to fight. Hadri agreed. We said if one of us was taken, and the others wouldn't stop. We'd keep going, make our way to the bridge. They died so we could fight on. The Takan don't want them dead. They want to steal their bodies. And steal their minds. The Takan knows everything the host knows. That means they know our plan. They know we're heading to the bridge. Tylus, you should be in sickbay. I'll finish this. I couldn't just lie there knowing the entire fate of Hotari hangs in the balance. How did it go? You look exhausted. It went about as well as could be expected, under the circumstances. Oh, that's a relief, because I was fearing the worst. I heard a rumor that they'd made a deal, that the Illidians agreed to peace. After what we saw Sidron do to the diplomat in the mines, I could hardly believe there was hope, but then... Is that true? I'm afraid the truth is far worse than that. There's no deal. No. They're all to con now. The Hatari, the Illidians. Everyone. No. That can't be true. I'm sorry. Where will I go? I can't go back. I don't have a home anymore. Everything I've ever known is gone. Hotari isn't lost yet. This is far from over. It will be your home again, I promise. Thank you. The Federation stands with the Hotari. You don't have to doubt it for a second. Yellow, alert. Commander Rydick, we need you on the bridge immediately. <laughs> 